So, have you ever wondered how people get these super cinematic tracking shots from above and thought, oh man, I wish I could shoot videos like that? Well, you can. If you're looking to upgrade your drone or maybe you're looking for the best beginner drone on the market, the Mini 4 Pro might just be the drone for you. With the Mini 4 Pro, you get a feature called Waypoints. This is not a new feature though and has been available for quite some time, but it has only been available on the bigger drones. So, if you're all new to Waypoints or just want to learn more about Waypoints and how how it works or maybe you just want to find out how I use waypoints when I'm out traveling, well this video is for you. So let's head over to the controller and let me walk you through the steps on how you can set this up to get amazing results on the first attempt. So here we have me and my wife doing this morning hike on our recent trip to Hawaii and this is also where I wanted to use Active Track on the Mini 4 Pro in hope that it would actually follow me from bottom to top. But as you can see here, I also had a lot of issues using Active Track due to all the trees covering the trail at certain parts. So in order to get a professional looking tracking shot, I had to use Waypoints in combination with some easy calculations. Waypoints is also what I think is the best automated feature that that DJI has to offer. And now to have this on a mini drone is something I've been wanting for years. I mean, you have what I think is the best travel drone and you also have what I mean is the best travel feature, waypoints, and all of this in one drone for less than $800. It's just amazing. But now to set up a waypoint, we first need to head over to the controller again and we have to go into video mode. And on the left side here on the screen, you'll see an icon which illustrates a path. This is the icon for waypoints. So when this is selected, you'll get an option to set a waypoint by pressing the C1 button on your controller and what I assume will be the FN or function button on the RCN2 controller. And when selecting the drop down arrow, you also get two options, waypoints and point of interest. But for this, we're gonna stick to waypoints. Now to set the first point, you press the appropriate button. In this case, that will be the C1 button on the RC2 controller. So now that we have the first point, it's all about moving the drone to a different location to create a path between point one and two. And this was also the first time that we did this hike. So what I did was to locate the direction of the trail to find my second point. Point. A tip here is that you can also use the home point icon on the screen to get a rough visual indication of where you've set the first point. However, this does only apply if your first point was set close to the home point. But in this case, since I'm doing a waypoint tracking shot of our hike, I know that the drone will start at the point we're standing. Now before setting the last point, we can also do some adjustments to the gimbal, like tilting the gimbal up or down, just to make it look more interesting. So for this, I'm just going to tilt the camera a bit down. So now that we have our two points, we can select the three dots on the right side. In this section, you can adjust the settings like speed, what the drone should do at the end of the flight, what it should do on a signal loss, and which of the two points it should start from. You also get an indication of the flight duration, so how long it will take for the drone to fly from point one to point two, as well as the total distance between the two points. Now, since me and my wife are standing at point one and we're moving towards point two, the starting point should be one. So when I now press go, the drone will automatically fly back to point one before it starts the mission. And when your mission is done and you want to exit waypoints, you can tap on the waypoints icon again and you will get a message asking if you want to save the current flight path, exit without saving or cancel to continue using waypoints. So by saving the mission, you can actually go back at a different season, for example, and then select the same flight path which you've saved and the drone will automatically start the same flight. Now for this next one here, we're going to use three points because we're walking up towards the first lookout here and in order to continue we also need to do a 180 turn and the first point here I actually want to set a little bit further back from where we're standing so by doing this the drone will actually be at a consistent speed when we start to walk 
Now, as for the second point here, I actually want it to be a little bit higher just to show more of the location, the mountain we're hiking and the steepness of it to create a more dramatic look. And this is also a typical shot used in vlogs and travel videos where the viewer sees the amazing view before the people hiking there. And this kind of adds this expectation of what the people will say and feel when they get to the top. Now for the last point here, as an ending to the waypoint mission, I want to highlight our starting point as well as the end point. So all the way down here is where we parked our car and where the trail starts. And the end point here is along this ridge line. And in between here, we have the trail we had to walk in order to get to the top. And this total scene here creates a story. And you can also add in additional shots, whether this is manual flight or you set waypoints the other way, you can actually use waypoints to create a full storyline if you want that but having these type of shots adds to the story that you're trying to tell and as a final adjustment to the waypoints i want to change the speed of how fast the drone moves between each point but since i want a consistent speed throughout the flight i only have to do the changes to the global speed so again by selecting the three dots on the right we get to the section where you can adjust the speed and other settings and if you wonder you can also adjust the speed and other settings on each individual waypoint but for this video we're just going to stick to the basics of what you need for a quick professional looking waypoint mission when you're out traveling. So when it comes to speed, there's a few things to consider like how fast are you walking and what is the estimated time it will take to reach the center of where you placed point three. And is it the first time you're at this location and how is the terrain? I also believe that the average speed of a person hiking is just less than a meter per second as your steps will be shorter, the steeper the trail is. So as an example here, this is the first time that we did this hike. And as I said earlier, we were about to reach the first lookout, which would give us some amazing views. And that meant we would most definitely stay here for a few seconds before moving on. And instead of having the drone rapidly follow us as soon as we started walking, I also wanted the movement to glide smoothly from point two to three. The trail was also quite rocky, so I estimated our time about a minute before we reached our next and last stop. But I also wanted the drone to catch up to us and not the other way around. So I set the speed to 1.8 meters a second, which gave me an estimated time of one minute and 13 seconds from point one to point three. The reason I want the drone to catch up to us instead of the other way around is that it creates a better dynamic look than if the drone should reach the last point before us and then just sit there and wait for us to reach the end point. And I also think this looks way more professional when the drone has a consistent movement, even if the subject is standing still. And this in combination with some additional shots using manual flying and also cruise control, the final sequence from this hike looks like this. So there you have a simple way of using waypoints to make your travel videos pop even more. And if you found any value in today's video, let me know by dropping a like to help this video reach more people that would be really appreciated. And also if you're brand new here and this is the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we don't miss out on the next video. So with that said, thanks for watching, take care, fly safe, and I'll see you in the next one.